Well, it's like I'm collecting cages over here. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I finally have the last piece I needed to make this video. After many, many shipping delays, I finally had the small rig cage. I've had the Yulanzi for quite a while now. Picked up the PGY Tech a few weeks ago. Now I have the small rig. So there are uh, strengths and weaknesses to each one of these. And we're going to go over them one at a time and figure out which one's right for you. I definitely have my favorite and my go-to, but uh, one of them might be better fit for you. So let's go over them one at a time and uh, see what we got. So a few weeks ago, I made a video on the best accessories for the Action 3, and I featured this cage from Yulanzi. And many, 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 many of you told me how wrong I was, that the PGY Tech was better, that the small rig was better, um, and that I didn't know what I was talking about. And so I went out and got them all, and we're going to see which one is, is best for you. So since I covered the Yulanzi cage in that video, and if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right up there. And uh, we'll do this one last. So let's start with the PGY Tech. All right, the PGY Tech is definitely the best looking one of the bunch. The fit, finish, it just seems more refined, more polished than the others. I like the fact that it has a dedicated record button. It's not a pass through like the others. Uh, the latch system just seems to be a little bit more refined. And uh, I don't know, overall, it's a nice it's a nice cage for the price. It's the cheapest of the three. Uh, there's not many specs on the PGY Tech website, so I don't really know the weight. Um, but there are a couple of things that cause me not to like it. Um, not so much that I couldn't recommend it. It might be perfect for someone. It just does, It just wasn't right for me. One thing I didn't like about it is the fact that it passes through and mounts to the camera instead of mounting to the cage. Now, if you're filming vertical in portrait mode, there is a quick release on the side along with a quarter 20 thread. But I feel like if you're going to be investing, you know, $40, $50 into a metal cage, you'll want that full protection all the way around it. Another thing that I found that was not to my liking is the cold shoe mount. So most people that are going to be using a microphone on these are probably going to be using either the Rode Wireless Go or Go 2 or the DJI microphone. So if you notice when I go to put the receiver of the, the Rode Wireless Go 2, it just does not fit in the cold shoe. That's definitely a bummer. And if it were to fit, it would, re it would cover that record button. But you see, this is the... This is the DJI mic. I have the USB-C on it now, but this is the cold shoe clip that goes with it, and it doesn't fit either. So that's definitely a downfall. Now the Rode Video Micro fit in there fine. All the lights that I have fit in there fine. It's really just these two things that didn't seem to fit very well. Now I do feel like I could probably force it, or I could probably shade this down to, to work, but, uh, that and the the open bottom just it's just i'm not going to be using this one so it's still nice i mean it's very very well made pgy tech makes excellent products i use their backpack every single day i'm using the manis pod uh, tripod right now under this camera they make great products so i'm not knocking pgy tech but i do feel like uh it would have been better if the the bottom wasn't exposed and the cold shoe accommodated more uh, more items such as the Rode Wireless Go 2. So with that being said, uh, we'll move on to the small rig since I've already covered the Yulanzi in the previous video. And if you hadn't seen that video, be sure to check it out up here. Or maybe it's over here. Which way? It's up here somewhere. So be sure to check that out. Also, if you're uh, into photo and tech related content, be sure to subscribe. And if you're finding this at all helpful, a like would be cool. Now, moving right along. The small rig cage has definitely earned a spot in my heart. Um, you know, I own a lot of small rig products also. This light right here is small rig. Uh, I had the small rig cage for the original Osmo Action, and uh, it actually had a 58 millimeter filter thread for variable NDs on it. I wish they would have done that here, but they didn't. Anyway, now I'm rambling. So the small rig has a quarter 20 thread on every side except for the USB-C side. 
It is also the only one that opens from the back. Uh, here, let's go ahead and put this in. So it opens from the back, which is, I mean, it's not a plus or a minus. It is what it is. I know why they did it is so it could accommodate the DJI microphone, which it does well, but it will only do it in that direction. Now, if you're using this camera to vlog, you will not be able to see the screen from the microphone. That's not that big of a deal, but um, I guess once you dial in your settings, you really don't need to worry about it. Uh, me personally, I always would just record directly into the DJI mic and not use the uh, the receiver. But some of you might want to use the receiver or use both, and it does fit it very, very well. It doesn't seem to be real loose. That's why I don't use it much because it kind of scares me it just being in there by USB-C. But, I mean, I guess if you're hitting a bunch of bumps, I don't know. It's not really coming out, so uh, it works good. Another thing I really like about this microphone is the cold shoe is it's the only one that they put the cold shoe off to the far left side like this. So if you were to use it with say the Rode Wireless Go, you still have access to that record button when you're using the, the cold shoe on the top. And that, that's the same if you were using a light or the, uh, the Rode Video Micro. I didn't really have much luck with the Rode Video Micro because that big furry windscreen kind of gets in the view. So, you know, you can't really use that. Um, but this is priced at the same price point as the PGY Tech, but they do offer the option to spend the same price as the Yolanzi, which is $59, and they throw in this magnetic quick release. Now, this is clearly branded for the Action 2, which is not that big of a deal, but I can see where they're just trying to, you know, get a little more, uh, get a little more for, uh, you know, overstock or whatever, but... Uh, this thing's actually pretty cool. It has the two little rubber pads down there, um, which was kind of like a complaint from the uh, Action 2 was that when this thing was rubbing, it caused some squeaking and you could hear it, some interference in the microphone. But this also has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom, but not only does it have the quarter 20 thread, it has the little GoPro uh, action cam mount fingers, whatever you want to call it. And they are... They look plastic, they feel plastic, but they're definitely metal because they are magnetic. Me personally, I've just been putting uh, this on the side like that, and I still use the, uh, the clip that comes with it. I don't know, I just like the way it looks over there. And if I ever need an extra clip, I have it right there. The small rig cage still opens from the side, just like all the rest, and you can access the battery, memory card, whatnot. It's a good cage. So, like I said, it's priced just the cage, the same as the PGY Tech. I think it's $39.95. Or for the $58.95, you can get them to throw in this uh, additional magnetic quick release. And that little thing right there is heavy, man. That, I mean, that feels pretty beefy. So, last but not least, this is the first cage that I bought. And it is a good one, but there are, you know, some some complaints that I have with it. And like I was saying about the small rig, how they put the cold shoe over to the far left side, if you were to put the microphone up top, then it's blocking that record button. Kind of aggravating, not a deal breaker, but it's definitely aggravating to deal with. Now this one opens up on the left side, just like the PGY Tech, and has the battery door, just like the others. Now there's a quarter 20 thread on the bottom one on the side for vertical shooting as well as the the quick release mount and this one also has the gopro action cam mount built in i do like how that's built in directly to the cage and you don't have to use the uh the quick release for that but they all have the same features they all just uh, apply them differently so i don't think you can really go wrong with any of them i mean really the only way that i would say for sure that you need this particular one is if you're using the DJI microphone. Other than that, they all work, I mean, really great for protection. If I had to rank them, this is me personally, now I've known to be wrong before, but I would put the small rig at number one, the Yolanzi at number two, and then the PGY Tech number three. If it's something that you think that you might be interested in, there are some affiliate links down below. 
I do make a small commission if you purchase anything through them, but it goes directly into uh, supporting the channel so that I can buy more than enough cages for my Action 3. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I would like to give these away to someone. I don't know a fair way to do it. Uh, I'm going to think about it, and maybe I'll add something in to the end of this video. Maybe like pick a number or something like that if it's something that you want. Matter of fact, that sounds like a fair way to do it. Um, okay, if this is something that you think that you might be interested in winning, the PGY Tech, this, this is the one I'm going to give away, because I don't know if I'm going to give this one away yet, but I'll give this one away. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. So, how about this? Um, I don't really know how high to go. Okay, so we're going to do this. This might be stupid. It might not. Okay, on this piece of paper, this calligraphy pen, I am going to write a number. So... Uh, pick a number between 1 and 500, because I don't know how many views this video would get. I don't think it would get that many. But I'm going to write a number, and I'm going to do it fair. I'm going to fold it up right now. So I'm going to put today's date, which is what, the 3rd? So February 3rd at 4.45 is when I made this. And okay. Oh, I did I show it. So I wrote a number on this piece of paper, and I'm gonna sign my name so that this is verify that this is the paper. All right. If this if this PGY Tech cage is something that you're interested in winning, all right, pick a number between one and five hundred, and the closest to this number right here, and I'll be honest with it, I'm not, I have no reason to lie or be sneaky, put it right there in my drawer. If somebody gets close to that number or the closest to that number, and you truly want this cage, then I'll I'll send it to you. Deal. Also, I want to show y'all something. This is for the loyalists out there. Look at this. We are almost at 500. Isn't that crazy? There, There is 498 people that actually want to hear what I have to say. I can't believe it. I don't even have, I don't have one of those digits in this house that want to hear what I have to say. It's crazy. I don't know. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all being here and I appreciate the support and all of y'all are too kind. Maybe not all of y'all. Some of y'all mean sometimes, but it's okay. I like criticism. So I appreciate y'all being around. I just never thought that I would get to 500. I started making these videos because, uh, you know, I just was buying stuff to improve my photography and figured I would start, you know, just reviewing some of the things. And, uh, you know, y'all have just been sticking around. I guess, you know, you feed a stray dog, you can't get rid of them, right? Not calling y'all stray dogs, but you get the point. I don't know. Good to see y'all again. Sorry I've been gone. I'm back. Uh, I just turned 40. I'm kind of dealing with that in my own way, so. <sighs> halfway there. Statistically, I'm halfway there. Take care of yourselves. You know you deserve it. And uh, don't forget to like the video. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh,